there's a famous seaside place called Blackpool. That's noted for fresh air and fun. And Mr and Mrs Ramsbottom went there with young Albert, their son. A fine little lad were young Albert, and dressed in his best, quite a swell. He'd a stick with an horse's head handle, the finest that Woolworths could sell. They didn't think much of the ocean. The waves there was piddling and small. There was no wrecks and nobody drowned. Fact, nothing to laugh at at all. <laughs> so, seeking for further amusement, they <coughs> paid and went into the zoo, where there's lions and tigers and camels, and old ale and sandwiches too. There were one great big lion called Wallace, whose nose was all covered in scars. He lay in a somnolent posture with the side of his face on bars. Now old young Albert had heard about lions, how they were ferocious and wild. And seeing lion lying so peaceful just didn't seem right to the child. So straightway the brave little fella, not showing a morsel of fear, took his stick with the horse's head handle and stuck it in Wallace's ear. Now you could see that the lion didn't like it. For giving a kind of a roll, he pulled Albert inside the cage with him and swallowed the little lad all. Now father had seen this occurrence, and not knowing what to do next, he yelled, Yon lion's lit, yon, yon lion's lit, et Albert. And mother said, Ee, I am vexed. They complained to the animal keeper who said, My, what a nasty me up. Are you sure it's your boy he's eaten? Pa said, Of course I am. Here's his cap. The manager had to be sent for. He came and he said, What's to do? Ma said, Young lions, et Albert, and him and his Sunday best too. Father said, Right, right, young mother. The young fella, I think it's a shame and a sin to have our son et by a lion, and after we'd paid to come in. <laughs> the manager wanted no trouble. He took out his purse right away, saying, how much to settle the matter? And Pa said, well, what do you usually pay? But Mother had turned a bit awkward when she reckoned where her Albert had gone. And she said, no, someone's got to be summonsed. So that was decided upon. And off they all went to the police station in front of a magistrate chap. They told him what had happened to Albert and proved it by showing his cap. The magistrate gave his opinion that no one was really to blame, and he said that he hoped the ram's bottom would have further sons to the name. But that mother got proper blazing. And thank you, sir, kindly, said she, what spend all our lives raising children to feed ruddy lions, not me. <laughs> <laughs>